Good afternoon, Paula. It is Pete at Mark Miller Subaru. Um, I wanted to show you the car that we were basing numbers off. It tends to, uh, to help people over the years to visualize before they come and drive and stuff. But there she is, uh, 2020 Outback 2.5i. Uh, that is the, it's not called a base model really. Subaru doesn't do that, but that's, it's everything you need and nothing you don't. So there's no particular extras like leathers and sunroofs and all those things that uh, you know, cause the cost to go up because I know we're on a budget. So I'll give you a quick, uh, quick rock around of it. Like I said, it's uh, it's plenty of car. I've owned this exact car twice now. So um, both in a Crosstrek and in an Outback. But obviously, alloy wheels are standard. Quite pretty this year. The 2020 Outback is a completely new body style over the 19. So um, all the latest technology, a lot better driving car than in the past. All season tires new headlights the whole entire car is is uh new for this year so i'll go over a few of those things if you do like to ski camp hike these roof racks are awesome so if we go up here these swing across if i can get that and become crossbars just like so so you can get your ski attachments whatever you need there kayaks the rest and then they snap right back in, just like that, and they're stored away. Obviously, the back of the car. Sorry about some of the construction, we're expanding again. Huge amount of cargo space. A couple options this does come with that I love, they're useful. So cargo mat here to protect your carpet, holds a little bit of water. Those are your all-weather mats, and those are your carpet mats. Another thing I love now, as far as putting seats down, we pull this little handle. You have almost a six foot bed. Obviously this cargo cover pops right out, just like so. So kind of imagine that. They make quite a nice tent, if I'm honest. A little easier to set up, but a huge amount of cargo room. The car has actually gotten a little bit bigger this year, a little wider and more interior space. Make our way to the back seat. Everything's power on these cars, that's why I don't like to call them a base. Power windows, door locks, mirrors, automatic braking, which I'll go over. Is your back seat comfortable for three? And we'll go over all of that fun stuff, because it is a lot. Very quickly, eyesight is standard on our cars now, so very simply, those are the two cameras. This car will autonomously brake if it has an emergency situation. That's just one of the things those cameras do. It's all your power equipment. And then all new interior, of course. And cockpit, sorry about the glare. Brand new car, obviously, 34 miles. Uh, when I talk about eyesight, let's see if I can hold it steady. So if I were to turn my cruise control on, you'll see these lines up and down. Once I set the cruise control, uh, let's call it 45 miles an hour. This car is going to go 45. Someone moves in front of us It's going to back off its speed to keep you a safe distance. It'll also keep you in your lane So if I turn that on you can see that ready. That's called lane centering If we are following a car if we're going about over 40 miles an hour It starts picking up the lines on the road and will keep you in the middle in case you're drowsy or distracted uh, And that's all standard equipment. That's not anything extra you're paying for Here is the new infotainment center and it is a lot so it's all digital that's gonna be your HVAC, along with many different controls for um, the, the different driving modes that this car has. It is off-road capable, that's what X mode is, which we'll go over later. Climate control is standard. Awesome stereo system. Um, I believe you're an Apple girl, if I, or an Android girl, if I remember right. So once you plug your phone in here, that becomes your telephone. It's called Android Auto. So that will instantly become uh, all of your apps that you use. If you use maps to navigate, that becomes your navigation screen, so you don't need in-car navigation. Really, really handy. Another thing I like to point out, because it's new, that above the parking symbol with the A through it, this car will automatically shut itself off at stoplights to save the world, basically, <laughs> to save emissions. It does save you some gas as well, but it's designed to put out less emissions, so it automatically stop starts but absolutely amazing car for the money. Brand new, like I said. So look at those lease numbers. Hopefully this helps you. 
we'll go over stuff love to have you come in and drive and experience a lot of this stuff and, and experience the dealership so i uh, hope you have a wonderful day paula and we will talk soon bye-bye